Three players have come from across the land to take on this legendary machine. Can any of them seize the opportunity to win £10,000? We're about to find out. It's a pinpoint. Welcome to Tipping Point. Three players will be facing our machine and they're all hoping to win thousands today. So, let's meet them. I'm Julie, a housewife from Leeds. I'm Jay, a data analyst from London. And I'm Sarah Hannah, an international public health student from Northern Ireland. Good luck to you all. Let's play Tipping Point. In round one, you each start with three counters. Questions are on the buzzer. If you buzz in and give me a correct answer, you'll have a choice to make. You can either choose to play one of your counters into the machine or, if you think the machine isn't quite ready, you can get one of your opponents to play one of theirs instead. Most of the counters you get out of the machine will have £50 to your score. That includes our mystery counters, which, of course, come with a bonus prize, but also nestled in the machine. We do have two double counters. One of those falls for you. It will double the entire value of your drop. And should one fall with a jackpot counter at the end of the game, you'll be leaving £20,000 richer. Now, all three of you will be going through to play round two, but you want to bank as much money as you can throughout the game, so do keep an eye on those double counters, because they could make all the difference. Right, everybody ready? Yes. Hands on your buzzers, comes your first question. In 1975, Nature magazine coined the scientific name Nessiterus rhombopteryx for which legendary creature said to inhabit a loch in Scotland? Jay. The Loch Ness Monster, I it think. It was the Loch Ness Monster, yes. Nessiterus rhombopteryx. Uh, Jay, you get it absolutely right, so you get to make the first choice. Would you like to play or would you like to pass? Uh, I think I'm going to pass, Ben. OK, yeah. to Julie or to Sarah Hannah? Uh, to Sarah Hannah, please. I knew that was coming. Sarah Sorry. Hannah, you Sorry. get the first counter. So where would you like to put the first one? I think I'm going to go for drop zone three, because there is a mystery counter there. Let's do it. Drop zone three, please. Mystery on the bottom shelf on the left, isn't there? Let's mm -hmm. see if we can get you some money here, Sarah so, Hannah. Ooh. Oh, it's very close. It is flat, clap, though. It? Just got flat. As long as it doesn't ride, that's the main thing. Can we get something out? Oh, oh no. no. Sadly, it didn't ride, but then it didn't do much more than nudge them forward across the top shelf, I'm afraid. OK, here's your next question. At the Brit Awards in 2021, the singer who performed a medley of hits including Don't Start Now, Hallucinate and Physical was Dua Who? Sarah Hannah. Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa is absolutely right. Are you going to play again or are you going to pass this one? I think I'm going to pass this one to Jay. Right, Jay. <laughs> She's returning the favour. Should have expected that, yeah. <laughs> Where are we going to go, Jay? Uh, I think I'm going to go for Drop Zone 3, please. Drop Zone 3 it is. Forward up, please. Far off. Is it going to be flat? Hope so. Yeah, now, Sarah Hannah couldn't get anything off the top shelf. Can you go one stage Ooh. further and get it onto the bottom? Please. No, you no. can't. Oh, Nicely dear. returned there, Sarah Hannah. Jay puts his first one in. Feels like they need a little bit more help, so nothing from your first counter. Here's your next question. In the human body, the capitate bone is the largest of the carpal bones that make up which specific joint in the arm? Julie. Wrist. It is the wrist, yes. Nicely done, Julie. Right, would you like to play? Uh, yes, I'd like to play. I think I'll go for drop zone three, seeing as my two teammates have set it up nicely. Fire up drop zone three. It will be teammates if you get the benefit. They are very close to going. Ooh, that could be good, Julie. Could be very good. I'm going to take out a lot of the top shelf. And you do. There's a couple. Is the tipping point no. going to go? No. Hey. Yes. Hey. Just keep an eye on the top shelf. Those two are even closer. They're wriggling and wobbling. Oh, yes. oh well done. <laughs> Wow. Oh, oh, but nothing more to add. You did get three counters, though, Julie. £150 Thank pounds for those three. Thank you. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank, get you off the mark, £150, with two counters still to play. Here's your next question. In a famous children's book by Eric Carl, which small green creature eats his way, Jay? Very hungry caterpillar. Eats his way through four strawberries on Thursday. It is a very hungry caterpillar. Jay, you going to play or going to pass? I think I'll play. OK, yep. where are we going to go? I think I might stick with number three, actually. Drop zone three? Yeah, please. Fire up three. Down that left-hand side. Yeah, there are a 
couple here, couple here. Oh, no! Ooh. Just filled the gap on the top shelf, so nothing yeah. from that drop, I'm afraid, Jay. It's unfortunate. One counter left. Here's your next question. Broadcast in 2021, a reunion episode of which US... Julie. Friends. Sitcom was trailed as being the one where they get back together. It is Friends, yes. Right, Julie, you going to play or pass? Uh, I'm going to play. I'm thinking maybe two. No, I'll go for three. Three again, please. Let's see what we can get here. Further right this time. There's a nice little cluster on the top shelf you can get at. There. Oh. There you go, two over. Anything across the bottom? No. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Two counters drop in there, Julie. £100 for you. Thank you. Still not a huge drop, but it all adds up, doesn't it? When we put it into your bank, it puts you on £250. One counter still to play. Here's your next question. In April 2021, Subway partnered with Walkers to offer customers the option to include which potato-based... Julie. Crisps. Potato space snack in their sandwiches. You're absolutely right, Julie. Are you going to play your last one or are you going to pass to Jay or Sarah Hannah? I'm going to play my last one. Where should I we think, go? I think in drop zone two this time, please. Changing it up. Let's go for two, please. So, on the right. What do you think, Julie? So, 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 so. Oh, oh, oh yes. Now. Definitely. That's what you're <laughs> 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 Yep. Come on, mystery, mystery. Nicely done. The mystery survived, but it's a nice drop. Seven counters, oh. Julie. £350. That's more like it, isn't it? Yes. Let's take Brilliant. that from the machine and put it into your bank. And that's going to leave you on £600. You have now used all three counters, so for the time being, you're out. Right, Jay, you've got one counter left. Sarah Hannah, you've got two left to play. This next question is for the two of you. Barry Island is a peninsula and seaside resort in the Vale, Sarah Hannah. Wales. Vale of Glamorgan, in which country of the UK? It is in Wales, yes. Right, Sarah Hannah, are you going to play or are you going to pass? Um, I'm going to play it, please, Ben. And because there is the mystery kind of ready to go, I think I'm going to go for drop some free and hope for the best. Let's see if we can get down the left hand side. Far up three, please. <laughs> ah, not that side for the mystery, but can we get you some money? Mm. We need to get you in the game Fingers here. Fingers crossed. That looks a bit better, doesn't oh, it? There's nice. a gap, so though. There's nice. a gap. That's the only Got thing. Double jump. Oh. So manage to fill the gap and get some out. Nicely done. Thank you. Four counters, Sarah Hannah. Two hundred pounds. Take it from the machine and put it into your bank. You've got one counter still to play. Next question for Jay and for Sarah Hannah. Rhett Butler and Scarlett O'Hara are characters. Jay. Gone with the wind. Characters in which Oscar-winning 1939 film it is Gone with the wind. Yeah. Right, Jay. One last counter to play for you. Do you want to have a go, or do you want Sarah Hannah to play hers? I'll have a go, actually, I think. OK, where should we yeah. go? Yeah, Drop zone four. No-one's gone through it yet, so I think I'll give it some love. OK, is now the time to change up? Fire up four, please. Ooh. Rapid drop threw itself down. We need four counters to catch Sarah Hannah. Oh, oh. Jay. Bit of a risk going for drop zone four. Was. Nothing's been through it yet. Didn't the top off. shelf wasn't quite ready. So nothing from your third and final counter. You have used all three, though, so for the time being, you are out. Sure. Sarah Hannah, it's just you left in, because it's just you. You don't need to use your buzzer. You do need to give me the correct answer to this question to put that last counter into the machine. Here we go. In UK politics, the male MP with the longest record of continuous service in the Commons is known as the father of the what? Chambers. It's not, no, it's father of the house. Uh, could try. I'm sad that he was wrong, so we steal that final counter from you. So as things stand, Julie has £600, Sarah Hannah 200 Jay's got nothing in the bank, but it's not over because we now have one counter up for grabs in the penalty pot. I'm going to ask you all one more question. Buzzing and give me the correct answer, you put this counter into the machine. Buzzing and give me the wrong answer, and you will be frozen out. Good luck to all of you. Here comes your penalty pot question. How many vowels are there in the word manicure? Jay. Four. There are four, yes. M-A-N-I-C-U-R-E. Well done, you. Right, you've got one extra little counter here. This is a real bonus for you, Jay. Let's see if we can get you some money. Where do you want to go? I might go for four again, just because I think I've set it up, but I can't tell. Let's see what happens. Fire up four. Hit that silver counter. If we can. Get over. Ooh, not quite that side. Can we get something over the top shelf? Absolutely crucial. There's a couple here. Is the tipping point going to go? Hopefully. Yeah, it does. Three, Three counters. You got yourself in the game. £150 there, Jake. Let's take that from the machine. 
put it into your bank. And that means at the end of the round, Julie is leading with £600. Sarah Hannah has £200. Jay, £150. So join us after the break. See which of today's three players will win through. So I head to head in a shot at a £10,000 jackpot. See you in a bit. Welcome back to Tipping Point, where Julie, Jay and Sarah Hannah are battling out for the right to play for today's jackpot. In this round, they'll each have 45 seconds to answer as many questions as possible. Every correct answer with them accounted to play into the machine. However, this time, the player with the lowest score at the end of the round will be leaving the game. So, Julie, you are leading after round one, which means you have the power to choose. Is the machine ready for you? Would you like to play first or would you like Jay or Sarah Hannah to play? Uh, I'll go first. All right. 45 seconds of Julie, please. Your time starts now. On a UK clothing label, the letter L is typically used as an abbreviation for which size? Large. Correct. Known for its spotted coat pattern, the Appaloosa is an American breed of which equine animal? Uh, llama. Horse. Horse. Madison Square Garden is the home stadium for which New York-based NBA basketball team? New York Knicks. Correct. Yeah. Which British singer-songwriter had a 2021 UK top ten single with the song Little Bit of Love? Pass. Tom Grennan. Which common liquid with the chemical formula H2O comes before colour in the name of a popular painting method? Water. Correct. The island of Martinique is an overseas territory of which European country? France. Correct. In 2021, Andrew R.T. Davies was reappointed as the leader of the Welsh arm of which political party? Did you know? Uh, yeah, Cymru. Well, Implied like Cymru? No, it was the Conservatives. All oh, right. It was okay. the Conservatives. Uh, four correct dance in there, Julie. Four well, counts put into the machine. Where would you like to go first? You see, I'm tempted by the double counter in drop zone one, but there again, I'm also tempted by the mystery in drop zone two. So I think I'll go for drop zone two, please. OK, load up drop zone two. It's right between two and three, isn't it? Mm, so that might fill a hole. I guess we can get a little nudge on the silver one at the front. A little bit. No, 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 no. no. OK, it's okay. better now. Three more to go. Drop zone two again, please. Two again, please. Yeah. Couple of counters in three that are right on the verge. Mystery drops over. Oops. Nicely done. One counter goes in for you. Let's put fifty pounds into the machine. Two more to go in, Julie. Uh, drops on two again, please. Let's have two again. Very nice and full. Hard on the right, surely, this time. Can we get enough lateral on that? Yeah, there you go. Ah. A couple more. Is the mystery going to go? It feels like it might, doesn't it? Ah, well way. done. Done with a load of others. Seven more across the tipping point. £350 takes us up to £400 in the machine. One of them is a mystery prize, though, Julie. If you want yourself a hideaway spa break for two, courtesy of Why Boston Lakes Resort. Oh, wow. How fab is that? Oh, fabulous. One more to go in as well, then, Julie. Where do you want to put this last one? I'll stick with drop zone two again. Stay with it? Yeah. Power up two, yeah. please. Yeah, that's the side, isn't it? It is. If we can get some over. Whether it does any of. Two or three yeah. there. Yeah, they've separated. Oh. There's a few already. Just planted in. Any more? No. Nope. Oh! They're going to stay where they are. Four more for you there, Julie. So another £200. 600 in total. When we take it and put it into your bank, it's going to double your score and leave you on £1,200. Fabulous. Thank well done. You. Right, Sarah Hannah, you are just ahead of Jay by mm. £50, but it is crucial because it means you get to choose now. You can play next if you think the machine's ready, or if not, you could ask Jay to play. I think I'll give it a go. I'm quite nervous about this round, so I'll get it done. Let's see if we can get it out of the way, then. Yep. 45 seconds for Sarah Hannah, please. Your time starts now. In British currency, which single denomination of coin is referred to by the slang term a quid? Point. Correct. A Pirate's Life is a song from which 1953 animated Disney film about a boy who never grows up? Oh, oh, God, what do you call it again? Peter Pan. Correct. The painting The Death of Nelson by Arthur William Davis depicts a scene on HMS Victory during which naval battle? Spanish Armada. Battle of Trafalgar. The 1998 poetry collection Birthday Letters is by which former English poet laureate? Pass. Ted Hughes. Kenny Dalgleish is a legendary Scottish international in which ball sport? Rugby. Football. <laughs> in geometry, there are 360 degrees in a full rotation of which round two-dimensional shape? Circle. Correct. Daniel Mays plays the character Danny Waldron in which BBC police drama series? 
Did you know? The Bell? Line of Duty. I watched that as well. Yeah, it was a couple of series ago. The Bill was ITV as well, of course. Oh. Three counters for you, though, Sarah Anna. So not too bad, considering oh. you're nervous. That's all right. So where would you like to start? I think as Julie's kind of set up job zone to you a bit for me, I think I'm going to go for that one. Let's try it. Two up, please. As long as it doesn't raid. It's not riding. It's nice and flat, and it's in the right ballpark as well, isn't it? Mm. Down that left-hand side of drop zone two. Couple here. So we need big to start one. chipping away at Julie's I hope lead. So, thanks. And that's going to do some damage. Five counters there, Sarah Hannah. Let's give you two hundred fifty pounds. Two more to go in. I think I'm going to give drop zone four a try. Drop zone four, please. Kind of that. Move the double down, hopefully. There's a gap, though. Oh, there, there is a gap. Oh, I didn't yeah. see that gap. Just filled it up. Mm, Looks full. I didn't see that gap. One more to go, Sarah Hannah. I'll stick with the drop zone four. Hopefully, now that the gap's gone. Four up, please. Hands oh. down over on the left. You need as much as possible here. Mm. You're not that much ahead of Jay. Is the tipping point it's good. ready? Or is it just going to look... Oh, it does. Just what you needed. Well done. Yeah. Seven more for you. £350. That's more like it, isn't it? Takes you up to £600. Let's take that and put it into your bank. And that's going to leave you on £800. Right then, Jay, we come to you. 45 seconds of Jay, please. The time starts now. Very focals are lenses used to help correct the vision in which pair of sensory organs in the body? Eyes. Correct. Toby Stevens plays John Robinson in a Netflix remake of the sci-fi TV series Lost in What? Space. Correct. The Old Age of William Tell is a 1931 painting by which Spanish surrealist artist? Pablo Picasso. Dali. The Zambezi River flows into the Indian Ocean on the coast of which African country? Pass. Mozambique. Made using steam, espresso is both a method of brewing and a type of which hot cabinated drink? Coffee. Correct. Deuteronomy, Judges and Habakkuk are all books from which testament of the Christian Bible? New Testament. Old Testament. In 2020 and 2021, Pancake Day occurred in which month of the year? February. It was February, yes. Just squeezed it in <laughs> in time. Always just enough time for pancake. Just enough time. <laughs> well yeah. done, Jake. Four correct answers in there. Okay. Four counts to put into the machine. So, four chances to try and catch Sarah Hannah. Where do you think looks good? I'll go for drop zone one and then just try and get that double and enough counters. Fire up one, please. OK, it's nice if it's flat. It's right Hopefully on the double as well, flat. isn't it? Is it going to be flat? Yes, it is, just. In the right slide. spot, hopefully. It's a bit further left as it comes forward. Mm. Okay, filling that top shelf. Three more to go. Stay with drop zone one. Yes, please. Fire it up, please. Yeah. Slams over on the left. Mm. It's not at the double just yet, but oh, that could help. If that spreads a little bit. Oh, that's a nice drop. Six counters there, Jake. 300 pounds. Reduces the deficit dramatically. You now just need seven to catch Sarah Hannah. Yep. The right-hand side of drop zone one is still up for grabs, maybe, so going to risk it. Drop zone one? Yeah, please. Drop zone one, please. You hit that mystery counter, I think, don't you? Yeah. Get it there. Could do it. Not sure mm. that could ride as well. Is it, it going to be do. flat? Oh, it's down. You're it's OK. Flat. A little bit of a gap there, though. Yeah, it might fill that gap. Mm. Get a bit of lateral to squeeze the ones in front of the mystery. There you go. Ooh. It's going to squeeze alongside. It's going to get close. It's going to get mm. close. Ooh. Just clinging on. We still need seven counters. Four with a double. Let's stick with zone one. Yeah. Drop zone one. Don't risk it. Yeah. Fire up drop zone one, please. Ooh, that's not far off, is it? Mm. What do you think, Sarah Anna? 
I think it's a good spot. Oh, now, is it going to go? Is the double going to go? Are you going to get the numbers? Oh! oh. <laughs> oh Jay! It is hanging oh. Look at that! That is very, very close. It's only four more across the tipping point. He comes so close, it's not going to be enough, I'm afraid. £200 <laughs> takes you up to 500 in the machine. Let's take that and put it into your bank. Yep. And that means at the end of the round, it is Julie who is leading with £1,200. Sarah Hannah goes through with £800. Jay, you came really close, but I'm afraid with £650, we have found your tipping point. Thanks for playing, Jay. Thanks, Ben. I had a great time. It's Thank been you. lovely to meet you. Thanks you for coming too. and taking part. So it is Julie and Sarah Hannah who will be going head-to-head -head after the break for the right to play for our £10,000 jackpot. See you in a couple of minutes. Welcome back to Tipping Point. We have just two players remaining, Julie and Sarah Hanna. Well done to both of you for getting this spot. We're about to find out which one of you is going to take on the machine for our jackpot today. In this round, you're each going to be asked three questions alternately. On your question, you can choose to answer, or you can pass it to your opponent. Give me a correct answer, you put the count into the machine. Give me a wrong answer, your opponent puts the count into the machine. Whoever has the most money at the end of this round will be today's winner. They'll be playing for our jackpot. So, Julie, you are still leading, so you get to choose. Would you like the first question? Would you like to offer it to Sarah Hanna? I think I'll have the first question. Right, first one for you then, Julie. Linford Christie won gold in the 100 metre sprint at the Summer Olympic Games held in which city? You can pass this to Sarah Hannah if you're not sure. I have an idea, but I don't know if Sarah Hannah will know it. I'll pass. You're going to pass this over? I am. Right then, Sarah Hannah. Do you watch much Olympic Games? I do, and I actually used to do athletics as well. Oh, did you? But unfortunately, I can't remember. Do you know who Limpha Christie is? I do. Right. There's two I'm thinking of, and they're both in America. The LA Olympics weren't too long ago, or it was either that or the Lanta. Um, I think I'm going to go with the LA Los Angeles. Los Angeles Olympics. Olympics. OK. Julie, when were you thinking? I was thinking London or Rio. So you're thinking London or Rio, so 2012 or 2016? I've no idea, but I'll go for 2012. You didn't know the dates. <laughs> OK, let's see if you're right, Sarah Hannah. If you have got the right Olympics, then you get the counter. Is the answer Los Angeles? Oh, it's not Los Angeles. It was a couple of games after that. It was Barcelona oh. in 1992. He was 32 when he won the gold medal which Gosh. would have made him 52 had he run at 2012, Julian, which would have been interesting. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> <laughs> Not ruling it out. He was pretty bionic. Uh, Julie, you get the counter. Sarah Hannah made a good guess, but it was wrong. Where do you want to put it? Drop zone one, please. Let's do drop zone one. Slides and settles over there on the right. Is that going to work Ooh. on the top shell? Yeah. Is the bottom going to go? Spread, spread, spread. There's a bit of a gap. Oh, oh no. would you believe it? <laughs> a little nudge, but not enough to take out that double. Right, Sarah Hannah, what a chance for you here. Time for your first question. In May 2021, French businessman Bernard Arnault overtook which Amazon founder to become the world's richest person? You can pass if you're not sure. Um, I think I'm going to play this one, Ben, because I think that Julie will probably know it as well. Okay. Um, and I think it's Jeff Bezos. You're going with Jeff Bezos. Yeah. Julie, did you know? You'd have said that as well. I would, See yes. if you're right, Sarah Hannah. Is the answer Jeff Bezos? Yeah, well done. You're absolutely right. You got the counter, so you get a chance to try and take the lead here. I think I know where you want to go, but I've got to ask you. You definitely know. Drop some one. Uh, hopefully, it's that double on it's the ready edge. Ready to go. Let's find Aye. out. Fire up drop zone one. You need four counters with that double to catch Julie. I just hope that I don't fell the top shell. Mm, there's a few gaps. Oh, why did that not go flat for you? That silver one's quite close. I know. Oh, it's raining. It's raining. Oh. Could you get enough of a nudge on the silver one here as it comes forward? Yes, you can. Oh, well done. Is it, it going? <laughs> is it going to go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it is. Wow. Oh, whoa. 11 counts across the tipping point, wow. Sarah Hannah. It's a cracking drop, £550. <laughs> That would have been enough to take the lead, but we can double it up and give you another £550. And suddenly that drop there surges you into the lead with £1,100. Let's put it into your bank. It's on £1,900. Right, Julie, we come to you. You're now playing serious catch-up here. Time for your second question. The ancient megalithic monument, Stonehenge, is located on which Wiltshire plain? You can play or pass this if you're not sure. I'll pass. 
<laughs> Julie's not even going to pretend like she's got any idea. <laughs> Sarah, Hannah, do you know of Stonehenge? I know of Stonehenge, okay. and I do know it's in Wiltshire. Um, but which plane, Wiltshire plane? Can you think of any Wiltshire planes? I'm just going to go have a guess and just go Salisbury plane. OK, so you've gone with Salisbury plane. Let's see if you're right, Sarah Hannah. If you are, you steal this counter just as you're taking the lead. Stonehenge. Is it located on Salisbury Plain? It is indeed. It's right. Well it done. is oh, right. Sorry. Well, done. <laughs> well done, Sarah Hannah. Yeah, Salisbury Plain is exactly where it is. Oh. Great. Another counter for you here. It's a great answer. Where do you want to go? I'm tempted by the mystery in Drop Zone 2. And there's a bit on the edge. I think we'll go with that one. Let's do it. Drop Zone 2, please. Slams down, settles nicely. As long as it doesn't raid. Couple here, yeah, nice. Anything going over the tipping point for you? Oh. Yes, another nice drop. Six counters across well the tipping point. £300 there, Sarah Hannah, on the steel as well. Really taking control now. Let's take that and put it into your bank. That puts you on £2,200. And you keep control, Sarah Hannah. Time for your second question. The giant tropical ant, Paraponera clavata. It's better known by what name due to its extremely painful sting? I think I'm going to play it. You think you know this one? I don't know, but I'm, I don't know if Julie knows it, so I think... I know the green ants have a really painful sting. Um, so I think I'm going to say green ants. Green ants, green OK. Ant. Julie, what would you have said? I'd have said scorpion. You might have gone scorpion. <laughs> I know okay. it's not an ant, but... Like, but a scorpion ant. There may be a scorpion I ant. Could it, be. it could be. I don't know. Sarah it Hannah be. thinks that green sounds like it's quite <laughs> painful. Oh, why? Let's see if you're right, Sarah <laughs> Hannah, or have you gifted this one to Julie. The Paraponera clavata. Is it better known as the green ant? No, it's not. Green ants do have a serious thing, but they're known as bullet ants. Bullet, Bullet ants. ants. Oh. Yeah, because their sting is hardcore. Uh, Julie, gift of a counter from Sarah Hannah. Let's go chasing something to close her down. So what do you think? Drop zone three, please. OK, then. let's do drop zone three. See if we can get something out of three. We need to start chipping away at Sarah Hannah's lead. What are we going to get here? Hopefully that might take a fair bit out, actually. Yes. Oh, that's not bad, is it, Julie? Well, let's see if what it does Good now. Good broad shove. Yeah. Oh, not That's bad. pretty good as well. Six counters for you there. £300. Let's take that from the machine and put it straight in your bank. That does close the gap. You're up to £1,500. You keep control as well, Julie. Time for your third and final question. In the Crudes animated films, the voice of Guy is provided by which Canadian actor? You can play or pass this to Sarah Hannah if you're not um... sure. I don't like films. I'm not a film lover. You don't like films, do I don't. You? Oh, I find them so boring. <laughs> I have to be doing something at the same time. Fair enough. Um, I think I will pass. Yeah, that's probably wise. I'll pass. Sarah, Anna, have you watched any of the Crude's animated films? No, I haven't. So we're looking for the Canadian actor who voices Guy. Um, I think Ryan Reynolds is Canadian, I say, or is he American? Um, oh, I don't really know. Um, Purely based off that, I think I'll say Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds, OK. Sarah Hannah, let's see if you're right. It's the answer, Ryan Reynolds. It is. That is oh, a great well answer. Done. Well, well done. done. So you get the counter, you get the benefit. Where should we put it? Um, I think because of the mystery, I still have my eyes on that, so I might go drop some two. Try two again, please. Yep. At least it doesn't raid. Is that going to do it? You mm, might bring the silver one down. So. Bit oh. too far over for the mystery, isn't it? No. Just oh. them all forward. OK, nothing goes, though. So time for your third and final question, Sarah Hannah. The phrase, light is therefore colour, appears on which Bank of England banknote? Um, I think I'm going to pass it to Julie. Right, then, Julie. What are you thinking? I don't read banknotes, I just spend them. <laughs> um, so I'll go for the £10 note. £10 note. Sarah Hannah, what would you have gone for? I'm trying to think of who's on the banknotes. Mm. I probably would have said the 20 or the 50, maybe. 20 or 50. OK, mm, Julie, if you're right, know. you've got one last counter. If you're wrong, Sarah Hannah, you're our champion, you're playing for the jackpot. Light is therefore colour. Does it appear on the £10 banknote? 
20 pounds. Oh. Yeah, JMW Turner is on the 20 pound banknote, and it's a note about one of his paintings. So sadly, Julie, I'm afraid you were wrong, which means Sarah Hannah, very well played. You are today's Thank winner. You. Congratulations to you. One more count for you here, Sarah Hannah. Where do you want to put it? Still with a mystery again. Um, drop song two. I'm, I'm determined to Determined try. to get it. Let's try see if we can move, move it. it. Bar up two, please. Oh, um, hopefully. Um, well. Uh, is it close enough? I'm not mm. sure. Is it it's still this one? far behind it's anyway, but isn't it? Oh. That might work. It's going to get it closer. Just keep Aww. an eye on it. And they did finally fall, Sarah. Had a three counters dropped into the wind zone, so we can give you £150 for those three. Let's take that from the machine and put it into your bank. And that means at the end of the round, with £2,350, very nicely done, Sarah Hannah. You are today's winner. Congratulations you. to you. Julie, I'm so sorry you battled really hard, but I'm afraid with £1,500, you have found your tin point. Of course, you have won your spa break, Julie. I Julia. have, thank you. That's our lovely. pleasure. It's been lovely to have you here. Thanks thank for coming you. and taking part. So, Sarah Hannah, as our champion, in a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put this jackpot counter into the machine. It's bigger and better than all the others. Because you get this one out, you're going to go home with £10,000. Yep. Can Sarah Hannah master the machine by finding its jackpot tipping point? Find out after the break. <laughs> Welcome back to the final part of tipping point. Sarah Hannah is our winner today and has managed to get £2,350. Very nicely done. Thank you. You've done a great job here, Sarah Hannah. Managed to battle your way all the way through to the final. And that means it's just you, the machine, and the chance to win our jackpot. Have you thought about what you might like to do with the money if you get it out? I definitely just want to go travelling somewhere. French Polynesian Islands. Wow. Somewhere exotic. Yes, and very expensive. exotic. Ah. <laughs> well, look, if we get you the jackpot count, you could certainly do it in style, so best of luck. Yep. Time to find out whether Sarah Hannah's going to win our jackpot today. In a few moments, I'm going to ask you to put the jackpot count into the machine. You want to go home with £10,000? Mm -hmm. Just get it out again. You want to go home with £20,000? Double counter still sitting there on the bottom shelf yep. of Drop Zone 4. See if you can get them to fall together. Here's how you're going to do it. I'll show you six question categories. For each category, you can choose to play one, two, or three counters into the machine. The more you play for, the harder the question. The more you win, the better your chances. Yep. It's as simple as that. Okay. So, what are you thinking then, Sarah Hannah? Where should we put the chatbot counter of ours? I'm thinking, because of the double, I'm thinking Drop Zone 4. Should we do it? Let's do it. Fire yeah. up Drop Zone 4, please. Right then, so when you're ready, you release that chatbot counter in. Let's see what we're facing. Slides and settles. It's not too far away from the double. It's not, is it? There's a fair few in the bottom mm. shelf that we can collect. Yep. That's a nice drop just to get started. Ten counters right there. Let's give you £500 just for dropping the jackpot counter in. Money goes straight up to 2850 Jackpot counter, nice and flat. My left hand side of drop zone four. Right, let's have a look at your end game subjects. This is what we've got for you. We have. Food and drink, science, film, geography, history and music. You can claim in any order. So when you're ready, where do you want to start up? How many counters? I'm not the best at history, though, so I think I'm going to start with history. Right. Get that done. For how many? I'll go three. Why not? History for three. The first four Hanoverian kings of Great Britain all shared which first name? George, Edward or Henry? I know there's obviously been a lot of Henrys. Um, Hanoverian. I'm going to go Henry. I'll just go Henry. Henry? Aye. Because there was a lot of them. There was a lot of them. And I know that obviously there was Henry the Eighth. So I know that there's been more than seven. We're going to go Henry. Why not? Let's see if you're right. Is the answer Henry? George. George. It was George, yeah, during the oh. Georgian period. Oh. OK, not to worry. You said it would have oh, well. been a bonus. Mm -hmm. But let's go back to the categories. Yep. I think I'll do music next as well. Right. Not, not the strongest topic either. Music for? Free, please. Music for three. Matt Osman, the brother of TV presenter Richard Osman, plays bass for which rock band? Suede, Pulp or Shampoo? I've never heard of any of them. You've not heard of Suede, Pulp or Shampoo? No. I've heard of Shampoo that put in your hair, but not <laughs> like a band. <laughs> um, pulp sounds a bit more like it would be a rock band. I don't know if the rock band named Shampoo just to be different. Um... I think I'm going to go with Pulp. Go with Pulp. Pulp. We're going to go with Pulp, please. So Richard Osman's brother, Matt Osman, is he a bass player for Pulp? No. Suede. Suede. Oh. Not to worry. 
Let's go back to the categories. Where do you want to go next? Um, I think I'll go food and drink next. Food and drink for how many? I'll go three again, why not? As well. Food and drink for three. Popular in East Asian cuisine, anko is a sweetened red paste that is typically made from which variety of bean? Edamame, adzuki, or butter? Edamame. They're, they're green, aren't they? So we don't like it by them. Butter. But I know butter is cream. The butter beans, they're cream. And if it's red, I think I'm going to go with ad, adzuki. Adzuki? Adzuki. Should we light it up? Aye. We're going with adzuki, that. please. Adzuki. See if you're right. Is the answer Adzuki? Yeah. At least I got one right anyway so far. Used as a filling in lots of Japanese and Chinese desserts. Mm. Great stuff. Right, drop zone four. Yes, please. Fire it up. Yes. Oh, that's nice. Ooh. Great first drop. It's I just hope it doesn't raid. Goes flat. B flat. Yes, oh, it, it does. Is. Now, it might squeeze it a little bit further right, but it will move it forward. Yep. There you go. OK, good mm, stuff. Got to move it. Two more to go in. Drop some four again, please. Four again? Yep. There we go. Not necessarily on the jackpot. No, nope. mm. might move that silver one there, though. And a couple here on the right. Double's going to get close. It does. Don't want to get to get Not just yet. just yet. Not just yet. OK, one more to go in. Drop some four again. Let's have four. Up. Oh. Can we get another little nudge on it? Good, good, I go. Oh. Okay, let's shift some of the weight here. Mm. Nicely nice. done. So we've got the jackpot counter to the edge of the top shelf. Mm -hmm. When we get them right, it moves. Let's go back to the categories. We're halfway. Um, I think I'm going to go for film next time. For how many? Uh, three again, please. Film for three, please. What are the names of the paranormal investigators played by Patrick Wilson and Vera Farmiga in the Conjuring film series. Owen and Magdalen Shaw, Ian and Laurel Lightfoot, or Ed and Lorraine Warren? I was actually discussing these last week. No, you weren't. With my daddy, I was. Because, um, obviously, it's based on true story. I was discussing them. So I think it's Ed and Lorraine Warren. Ed and Lorraine Warren? Yeah. Should we light it up? Yeah, please. Confident about this one, we're going Ed yeah. and Lorraine Warren. Let's see if you're right. Is it Ed and Lorraine Warren? Yeah, and as you say, yeah. based on real life, mm -hmm. paranormal investigators. Yeah. Great stuff. Right, that's more like it, isn't it? It is, I. Drop some four? Yes, please. Light it up. You. Down that left hand side, though. Oh. Just bounced a little too far. And if that sends those down. Oh, yep. Slide to the right. It's actually going to just miss the double. That's good. Yeah. We'll take those. Five counters, 250 pounds. Money goes up very nicely, 3,100. Two more to go in. Yeah, I think I'm going to stay with drop zone four. Four again. Yeah. Come on, Sarah Hannah, let's get it onto the bottom shelf. Just needs one to land in the right yeah. place, doesn't it? On that silver counter. Uh, come back, oh, yes. Oh, oh. Is that it? If it hits the black counter first, it will slide mm. behind the silver one. There, go on, go on. Oh. Thought you had it then. It did just go that way lateral, didn't it? OK, one more. I think I'm going to drop some four again. Four again. Spin. Yeah. Go left. Go left. Oh. OK. Just doesn't want to stay in that side when it's No, dropped. not just yet. If we get anything, and maybe a bit of mm. a squeeze on the jackpot, it's going to move it further right, I think. Just a touch. Oh, yep. It's just hanging over that edge, isn't it? Black out the oh. fell. A few more dropping in there. Four more. So another 200 pounds, which is nice. The money goes up. Mm -hmm. 3,300 pounds. Jackpot counter is hanging over the edge. It is. Just needs a bit more help. Back to the categories. We've got two left. I think I'm going to go with science for free. Please. Science for three. Yes, please. Which term refers to a satellite that remains above the same point on Earth's surface throughout the duration of its orbit? Geostationary, polar, asynchronous. From those answers, I would more leaning towards geostationary, because you think staying stationary. Polar or asynchronous? Polar... See, I don't know where the satellite is. If it was over the poles, maybe. Asynchronous. I can't say it being called that. I think I'm going to go with geostationary, please, Ben. Geostationary? Yeah. Go with geostationary, please. please. 
is the answer geostationary? Yes. Well done. Oh, thank you. Used specifically in weather observation, things mm. like that. Yep. Well done. Three counters. Drop zone four? Yes, please. Light it up. Try and get this over. Let's see where we want it to go, can't we? Yep. There, stay there, stay there, stay there. Stay there. Right, now, as stay on it. As long as it doesn't it. ride. As long as it goes flat. It yep, is. there we go. Now, drive that black counter right up the jackpot. Yep. Is it going to go? go on. Yes. Oh. Oh, oh, doubled in, but that's OK. Oh, well. Five counters for you there. £250. Takes you up to £3,550. We can double it up and give you another 250 though. Very nicely done. The money is up to £3,800. We're on the bottom shelf. Yep. There's two more to go in. I'm going to stuck with drops on four. Four up, please. Please, Ben, yep. Do with one right behind that silver counter to fill the hole. Just there would be great. Yep. That's right on the money, I think. Perfect. And now it's Smart lined up. Set off. Yep. One more. Same again. Drop Top zone four. four. Yes, Come on, Sarah Anna. Hit the silver counter. Oh. oh just fractionally too far to the right. I know. Mm, oh, that's going to anyway. annoy. <laughs> it would annoy okay. me too. Yep. We're on the bottom shelf. You lined it up beautifully. You're mm -hmm. doing a cracking job, working hard, but we're getting there. Yep. Let's have a look at the last category. It is geography. Yep. Geography for free again, please. Geography okay. for three, please. What is the county town of Dorset? Bournemouth, Poole or Dorchester? Do you know much about Dorset at all? Have you ever been there? No, no. It's down south, isn't it? I think. I don't know. I think I'm going to go with Dorchester just because it, that would more be the county town name, maybe. Dorchester? Uh, We're going to uh, go with Dorchester, please. Let's see if you're right. Have we found one last right answer? Is it Dorchester? Yes. Well That's done. Surprise, huh? Bournemouth and Paul are right on the coast, and Dorchester's a bit further inland. Right then, three chances to get that jackpot down into the wind zone to go home with ten thousand pounds. Fingers crossed. Job zone four. Yes, please. Fire it up. Hit the silver one. Go 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 go. Oh. Just hope it doesn't weigh down. one's going to get... Is it? Black oh. counter's going to get really annoying. It's, it's that black one stopping yeah, them, isn't far it? right. OK. Two more to go. Drop some four again, Four please. again, please. Yeah. Further left on the silver one. Come oh. back and touch now. That could do it. If that sends the yep. silver one down... That could push it over. There. Yep, yep, Ooh, there we go. it's going to get close, Sarah Hannah, shoveling it forward. Stay on it. Stay on it. Stay on it. Oh, God. Two counters dropped in. This gives you £100. Takes you to £3,900. The jackpot counter is on the tipping point. Oh, it is, isn't it? You've got one more. I think you know a drop zone four as Let's well, please, Ben. Five drop zone four, please. We could get that dangler down with another one. They could go yep. together. There, oh. that's OK, that's OK. If that brings the dangler down and it moves it left a touch... Could it push it? Oh. If they come together. Go on, now. It's got to squeeze together. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. Oh. Three counters drop in. £150 for you there, Sarah Hannah. The money goes over £4,000. £4, oh, Sarah Hannah. You've come so close. Sure. Oh. We're out of categories, we're out of questions, but it's not over. Yep. I'm going to offer you one last chance to leave today with £10,000. As things stand, you've got £4,050. You can walk away with that money right now, mm -hmm. or you could trade it for three final counters put into the machine in the hope of getting the jackpot counter out. If you decide to take the trade, it comes at a price. Yep. Nothing else in the machine has any value. So you'll leave with £10,000, or you leave with nothing oh, at all. Nothing. Yep. The question is, would three be enough? Usually I am a risk taker, but... I mean, £4,000 is a lot of money. It's a lot of money, you know. But the question is, will it fall in the right place or not? Purely for that, I think I'm just going to take the money. OK, I'll ask you one last time, Sarah Hannah. Would you like to take the money or the trade? I'll take the money, please. Congratulations. Thank As you. As you say, £4,050 is a huge amount of money. Really, really lovely, and I'm sure we'll send you off on an amazing, exciting yeah, well. journey somewhere, travelling, wherever yeah. it is you decide to go. Yeah, thank but you. But there'll be part of you that is desperate to find out, and there'll be part of you that really doesn't want to know whether these three counters of the trade would have paid out had you been willing to take the risk. Yeah. Drop one. That's going to fill a gap, I think. 
I could actually, I didn't realise it. Oh, oh, oh. oh. No. Sarah had it, wouldn't oh, have no. gone with the first counter. No! Oh, <gasps> All I needed was one. <laughs> Oh, do you know what? I don't really care. 4,000 points is a lot of money, and I've had a great time as well. Oh, so you've been amazing. You. You've played a brilliant thank game, you. Sarah Hannah. Even though we took a while to get going, oh. you managed to get that jackpot counter down, and £4,050 is a lovely amount it of is. money. It it's is. It's been brilliant fun playing alongside you. Thank you so much for taking part. No, thank you. Thank you very much. Well then. done. Thank you. So there you go. Sarah Hannah's leading with £4,050. It's a lovely amount of money. She's very happy, but if she'd just been willing to take the risk, if she'd just been willing to take the trade, She'd be leaving with £10,000, just the one trade counter, and it's sitting there in the wind zone. But would you be brave enough to do it? Join us next time when the fate of three more players will hang in the balance on Tipping Point. Goodbye. <laughs>